All right, what's up guys? I am slightly irritated right now, not even gonna lie. Just because I already recorded this game, um, you know, I'm gonna be trying out Freedom Planet. Uh, this is my second time playing through this game because the first time I recorded this, my freaking phone didn't even, re uh, didn't even focus on the screen. So now, you know, I'm just having to play it, like, I'm playing it a second time. So you can see my best time there, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, at least the run is gonna be better, but... Yeah, if you guys want to see my first time playing this game, it's gonna have to be a very blurry, out-of-focus video. Uh, and so far, my second playthrough is not looking much different from my first one. Oh, I think I know what those blue gemstones do now. I think uh, the blue crystals, I think those refill your special meter faster. That's interesting. And I keep getting my jump buttons mixed up, or my... Yeah, I keep getting the buttons mixed up, because I'm so used to pressing A to jump, like in Sonic Mania, you know? Because, you see, the thing is, this is a spiritual sequel to Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't even know where I'm getting this invincibility from. I got this on my other run, too. I just don't know, like, how you get invincibility in this game. This invincibility theme is really catchy, though, but, like, I don't know where you get it from, you know? So far, this is pretty fun, though. Uh, so this demo is just this one stage called Dragon Valley. Oh, right, I have a Shoryuken that I can use. And that worked out really well for me, didn't it? Uh, but Dragon Valley's theme is pretty good. No complaints here. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints about this game in general. It's basically like a Sonic game, just a little bit different, you know? So yeah, this part is a bit of a puzzle. I'm gonna go down and get this one. Oh wow, it still shot me. I like uh, Lilac's pushing animation. Oh yeah, that's this character's name, by the way. Um, you know, Lilac is a dragon from Planet Avalise, I think that's how you pronounce it. I did it again. I was thinking of Mega Man for a second with that ladder, because normally when I'm playing Mega Man, I press down, or I tap down and I tap the jump button to just drop from the ladder, you know? And I tried that in this game, but when you jump off, oh, wow. Uh, but when you drop off of a ladder, um, you actually, like, well, when you jump off of one, I should say, you actually go up. You don't just drop like you do in Mega Man. I keep getting my buttons mixed up. Got him. I have to think of this more like playing Sonic Boom on my 3DS, because this game controls more similar to... Wow, okay, that guy really just got me right there. Oh, wait, there's crystals up there, actually. Wait, how do I get in there? Oh, that drains my entire special meter. I'm having the hardest time getting back up there. All right, there we go. How do I get in there, though? Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Why? Why? 
Oh, gotta wait for my meter to refill again. Just so I can see what's in here, you know. So yeah, I still don't know uh, if you can drown in this game or not. I'm assuming that's what that meter is for. I think you can drown, I'm not sure. Oh, so far this game's pretty fun though, not gonna lie. Reminding me a lot of a Sonic game, you know? Oh, where did that guy come from? Okay. Got him though. This song low-key sounds like something you'd hear in a Sonic game. Because, yeah, a uh, fun little backstory behind this game. Uh, this was originally going to be a Sonic fan game. But, you know, it eventually evolved into what I'm playing right now. Oh, oh, I thought that was about to attack me like that. But, yeah, this game evolved into what it is now from being a Sonic fan game. And I can definitely see the Sonic influence in this game because, you know... You got loops, you got corkscrew, or, yeah, well, sort of corkscrews. Um, like, where you'll be running sideways on a wall. Uh, I know the Sonic Advance games had something like that. I know they used that gimmick a lot. Oh, wow, I got a lot of damage in this thing. I think it's best to just ignore those enemies. Oh, and by the way, if you hold up and press jump, you actually have this, like, sure you can type attack, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I really need to get used to this game's controls, though, just because, you know, I keep getting uh, jump and attack mixed up with each other. I like how when you hit a spring or something, you actually, like, you actually spin just like you would in the Sonic game. Oh, wow, I, I ran into that again. You know, it's funny, like, even though this is my second run of the game, I'm, I think I might be doing it worse than my first run, I'm not even sure. All right, here we go, though. Yeah, this part really reminds me of Sonic Rush. Uh, anybody remember Leaf Storm Act 2 and how it had a section kind of like this at the end with, like, this giant um, Eggman wheel that could insta-kill you if it hit? Ooh, got some nice damage out there. Dang it. Got him. Yeah, I really want to hit him with that shore you can finish off. That would be awesome. Oh, I missed. Got him. Got him with the shore you can. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Also, that victory theme sounded just like something you'd hear in a Sonic game. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Cheesy YouTuber outro. And I know this was a little bit shorter, but you know, I just wanted to test the waters, kind of see if you guys want to see a West play of this game. And like, by all means, if you want to see me West play this, like, please let me know in the, ch um, in the chat or the comment section. Um... And, like, whenever you want, or if I do get this game, like, to do a Let's Play of, just know I'm, um, I'm not going to get this game until probably early next year, just because there's so much stuff coming out, uh, and there's so much stuff I'm planning on getting. Like, there's a Pac-Man collection coming out literally in exactly a week from now, 
uh, Pac-Man Museum Plus. I'm going to get that day one. And then uh, Capcom Fighting Collection and Sonic Origins both come out literally a day apart from each other. June 23rd and June 24th, respectively. And uh, you already know I'm about to get both of those. Because I love Sonic and I, I mean, I like Street Fighter. I'm not like good at it or anything. Um, and then after that in July, I'm going to get Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice and Sonic Rush for the DS. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff like coming up to Sonic Frontiers that I'm planning on getting, you know. So I'm probably not going to get this game until like January of next year. I mean, to be fair, this game is only $15, so I mean, I wouldn't really be doing too badly if I got it, but still, you know. Um, I don't even know if there's a physical edition of this game. Um, if I can get this game physical, I'll definitely do that, because I'm starting to uh, run low on storage on my Switch. But all of that to say, uh, I just wanted to see if you guys wanted me to do a less play of this game, you know. So, uh, with that being said, um, yeah, the premiere, I know it was a bit shorter than usual, but you know what? You know what? Let's do a raid. Uh, future me left a link in the chat. Go raid this person. Hashtag ultra raid. You guys know the drill by now. And, um, it's your boy signing off. Peace. Take care, everyone. Also, I don't know if I said cheesy YouTuber outro, but, you know, there's that. Um, oh, wait, no, I said it. And also, if you want the verdict on this game, I highly recommend it to any Sonic fans out there. This is really good so far. I'm going to probably uh, pick this game up, even if I don't do a let's play of it, you know. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll be playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's your boy signing off. Peace. Take care, everyone.